Hello everybody, good morning, how are we all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. I love these weekend vlogs, I really love filming them. We don't really get up to much, but it's just nice to document the process. <laughs> but I hope you're all doing grand, I hope you're all having a uh, great, well when this is live, June, a start to your June. Where is the year gone? I, I genuinely would love to know. Um, today's a Saturday, today is Saturday the 20... Uh, it's a Saturday, the weather's beautiful. Look at those blue skies. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So the plan for today is that we are, well, we're going to have a really chill one as always. We're going to go to the park and have some brunch in the park. Zara had this idea that we could like pack up some little croissants and make some smoothies and that kind of thing um, and go to the park. It's in the park and enjoy the beautiful weather because that's what all we have done all week. It's just, it's unheard of to have this kind of weather in the UK. It's just so nice. So that's what we're going to do. I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit as well. So this um, outfit has been kindly gifted by French Connection. I do work with French Connection on a monthly basis. They very, very kindly let me pick out an outfit from um, their new collection, which is lovely. So I, this tie-dye shirt is super nice. It's, I went for a size large just to get it like really oversized and lightweight. And then I just tucked it into these green khaki shorts. Ideally, I did want like a light pastel blue, but I forgot to specify the color, but I think it actually kind of works. I'm, I'm fully here for it. So yeah, really lightweight. I will link the shirt down below and the shorts if you do want to check them out, if you're in the market for maybe a nice new summer wardrobe. I do get a lot of questions about how I actually do my hair and I'm very lucky because my hair is naturally quite like wavy and curly, but I've been using this Curl Define Cream by Label M. It's professional hair care and it's really good. You literally just use the smallest amount. Um, you can blow dry it or just leave it natural and it just really helps the curls. But that's currently where we're at with hair care. So let's go into the kitchen and start making some brunch to take to. Oh wow. My god, Zara's all system to go. These croissants, oh my god, they look amazing. These are Tesco's finest croissants, and Zara's just popping them into the oven just to warm them up ever so slightly. These little jam pots were from Zara's friend Claw, who lives in Bath. She sent over a little hamper just for Zara's week off. So we've got some orange, uh, where we are, some orange marmalade and some strawberry jam that's going to be delicious in croissants and then we'll pack some yogurt we've got some orange juice that we're going to make a smoothie with and then we'll make some coffees we treated ourselves to some M&S strawberries because oh they're just so good strawberries this kind of season mm, amazing I love that we were saying this yesterday I love that M&S actually put where they're from and who picked them from Harry Hall I think that's brilliant um, right, yeah, let's make some, let's make a smoothie. I thought I'd quickly show you our little herb garden as well. It is looking, I just need a water at the time. It's looking really, really nice. So we've got some thyme, basil, coriander. This is our aloe and it's got like so many new roots. I definitely need to address this and maybe repot those. We've got a mint going on that we're gonna pot in um, once we're back from the park and some more fresh mint that we're gonna use in cooking. It's very green, it's looking amazing. Okay, so this is everything that we put in our smoothie. I know I've showed you guys this before. It's our classic green smoothie. We have it all the time. Um, I put baby spinach in there and this is frozen baby spinach. We've got two apples. These are not looking the best, but they need eating, so we'll blend them up. Uh, we've got some frozen mango chunks, two bananas, we're going to pop a little bit of lemon and ginger in it and then some orange juice. It's a really healthy one and it is so tasty. We're going to pour some granola out as well. We've got all of our little Tupperwares going on. croissants have just came out of the oven and they smell amazing. It's going to bundle these up and then we're good to go. So coffees are all made. It's made them in the Nespresso machine. I still do use this Nespresso machine. I've had it for around two years. It's great. It's the virtual one. It makes like the larger coffees. I absolutely love that. I just need to turn it off at the wall. We've just bundled up some of the croissants in the little bag. We've got our picnic basket and then we've just got some balls going in, in here with the sun cream because it's going to get a little bit warm. All right, let's go have some brunch outdoors. Mm -hmm. 
this picnic basket has actually became invaluable because it is just so good. It's from Sainsbury's Home. I'll link it down below if it's still available, but you've got your little section for your cutlery, the bottle opener. This is where the plates normally go. And then it's got a whole freezer section in there. Got a little juices going on. Oh, amazing. myself and Zara went to Paris in, it was towards the end of October, we had the most amazing croissants in this, um, oh my God, I can't remember, Cafe Yanis, I feel like it was called, I can't quite rename, remember the name of it, um, but it was the most amazing croissants with deliciously like salted French butter, the jam was out of this world, the waiter was so nice, it was near the Sacre Coeur, I think it was near the Sacre Coeur, Sac Sector cut. My memory is terrible. Yeah, yeah, it was just amazing. It was really nice, but that's what it reminds me of. This is literally, it is amazing. park and I've caught a little bit of sun which is very very nice I'm just gonna do some dishes from breakfast and then we're gonna crack on with a bit of DIY which I'm very excited about so basically our little bistro set outside we've ordered some paint and we're gonna paint it I'm very excited I feel like it's gonna transform it completely it should work in theory it's coming up to two o'clock so I think we should have some lunch here, like a little barbecue outside which should be really nice so I'm um, yeah I'm gonna do some dishes because as you can see bless you it's quite a lot so this is the paint that we've got. It's the Rustin's Dark Wood Stain, and it's the same brand of paint we used for the ledges, so it should be good. It seems quite water-based, which is obviously really good. So um, we're gonna sand this down just to try and get rid of any marks, and then we're gonna do the top, and then the sides, so hopefully it'll just look all black and nice. So we just need to untie these little pieces here. If you haven't seen the updated terrace bits where we put the trellis up and give it a bit of a new zhuzh after the first transformation, I will link that up in the top corner, but I'm just going to untie all of these. So it shouldn't take too long to fill. I've got some sandpaper here. It's kind of like a, it's not too coarse, so we'd obviously don't want to sand it down too much, but just kind of give it like a new surface. Um, so yeah, we'll just like rub it on and then um, yeah, masonry painting. We've got two paintbrushes. Yeah, these are just from Poundland, but they work a treat. We use them on here and they literally do a grand job. So let's give it a go. Yeah, so this is the paint. It's very, very much jet black. It looks quite watery, which is fine. Um, so it might, it might be more like of a wood stain, so we might need to do, yeah, we might need to do a couple of um, coats with it with, I mean ideally you'd use like a cloth I think maybe, yeah, we'll give it a little stir with a wood stick and then crack on. I don't know why this is a thing, I think it just incorporates it, although you can shake it beforehand, but yeah. Okay, so the table's currently had two coats. We think it's gonna need a third, which is roughly what we were expecting. So we're just gonna pop that to one side to dry while we tackle on the two little chairs. It's looking so good though. It looks so much more expensive than it actually is. It looks like um, like cast iron, like raw iron, but it's literally obviously just wood. So it's just finishing up on the second chair and Zara's made a lovely, Summer punch with uh, like a blood orange soda, orange juice, tequila and vodka and it tastes absolutely delicious. I'm nearly finishing this one, but they look so chic. I'm really proud. Okay, so I think we are done. That is one chair done. The table took three quarts in the end, but it looks amazing. And then this is the other chair. So, so happy. And um, we've still got lots of paint left, so if it does need a little touch up, we can definitely do that in the future. Next project, this is some artificial ivy and it actually looks really realistic. Zara found this on Amazon and it was, can you remember how much this was? Like 13 pounds, but you get five strands. So basically we put some on the trellis already just to try and get 
like an idea of what it's going to look like. And we're doing this just as a temporary fix. So then when our real ivy does start to grow, which it already is, it's got some new leaves coming, which is very exciting. When this fully starts to grow, we can transport it over and then we can just use this somewhere else. But it's great. It'd be great for like, say, weddings or anything really. But yeah. So we're going to tie this up so and take out the individual strands. And they've got little loopholes at the end so you can like nail them in. So and we're just going to pop them up the top and then intertwine them through. Zara's made me into an elf. No, you look like, you look like something. Do I? So we've done one vine and just intertwined it through the trellis and it looks really, really nice. So we're going to do uh, five in total and then it should just look really nice. Yeah, so this is what the trellis is looking like. It is looking very full and I can't get over like how real the ivy looks. Like it's even got veins through it, which is obviously really nice and we've just fully Zara's just intertwined three vines through and then we've got two extra ones here so um we really don't like this glass and someone said that if you get some like sheer curtains and um quite a few of you actually said that we could cover it up but there's nowhere to really tack it on and obviously we are renting so not just that the wind might yeah so we're gonna try these and somehow i don't really know what we're gonna do with these i'll come back to you if we have an idea it might work it might not so what we ended up doing um zara just attached a piece of the full ivy onto the string of lights and then just wound it through here just to try and soften up that industrial beam and then for the final piece we just wrapped it through the lights which i just think looks really nice i don't know it's just it adds a bit more greenery to the back i think it just brings it all together that all look nice with the lights. yeah i think it'll look amazing so this is the finished result I am honestly so, so impressed with how this looks. It looks so much more expensive. And then we have really nice like gold cactus plants here, so we just pop them on. And the black and gold just, oh, that brings me a lot of joy. I'm very, very satisfied with how this looks. Guys, I completely forgot to vlog our lunch. We were gonna have a barbecue, but by the time I'd finished the dining set, it was like half past four, so then we've got a light and oh, it's just long. Um, so I had a burger. I had a plant-based burger from Nick Glory, and it was absolutely delicious. We like chili jam, chutney, brioche. Oh, it was so good. Um, and now we're going to make cupcakes, which I'm actually very excited about. We're going to make summer fruit cupcakes. I haven't made cupcakes in the longest time, and Zara's really in the mood to make some, so I'm going to make some cupcakes. I'm very excited. Okay, so this is everything you're gonna to need to make your cupcakes. Obviously, cupcakes are super simple to make, um, but we've got some unsalted butter, um, some bicarb and some bacon powder, some vanilla extract cupcake cases. These are like some nice white and pink fancy ones, and we might use some of these nice print ones as well. We've got some golden caster sugar, some plain flour, and then to make the frosting, we've got some food coloring. And then I had these can, I bought this for the Come Down With Us series way, way back, and we're gonna do like mixed berry summer fruit cupcakes. So we're gonna make like a fruit compote out of these and like a buttercream frosting. And the recipe we're following is from this cookbook, which is by Cupcake Gemma. If you don't know Cupcake Gemma on YouTube, she is amazing. I've followed her for years. Her cupcake book is incredible. You can still buy this. It's just got some of the best ones in, but we're just doing a simple vanilla cupcake for this and then obviously gonna shush it up. So um, the recipe makes 24. Oh, actually we need self-raising flour, we have that. The recipe makes 24 cupcakes, but we're halving this to make 12. So you basically just put everything in a bowl. So that's what we're gonna do and whisk it up. Just mixed up the batter and it is nice and smooth. It's looking really, really good. So we're just gonna pop that into some cupcake cases now and bake them for, I think, 15 minutes. Okay, so we made 10 in total. So we're just gonna pop those into the oven for 10 minutes, uh, sorry, for 20 minutes at 170 degrees fan. So while the cupcakes are baking down in the oven, I'm just gonna make like a nice fruit goo compote. Um, so I've just had, like I say, a can of the mixed summer fruits and I've just drained them and I'm gonna like wilt them down with some 
granulated golden caster sugar just so it goes nice and oozy and then that'll be a perfect fill in for the cupcakes and to drizzle through the frosting as well. So this is gonna take around 10 minutes just to blip away nicely. So Zara has just squeezed out all of the berry compote. So this is the like nice goo that we're gonna put inside the cupcakes. The cupcakes have baked and they look absolutely amazing. They're nice and golden brown. I'm just letting them cool for a second and then transfer them to wire rack. And then over here, we're just um, whipping up the butter so it goes nice and pale before we add some of this amazing juice that Zara's has got from the fruit and then icing sugar. Just here. Okay, so the cupcakes have had time to cool, and Zara is just hulling out the. Uh, hulling out? Hulling. You can use an apple core if you have one, but basically you just remove the inner of the cupcake, and then you grab the piping bag, which has got the fruit goo in it, and we're just gonna pipe that into the middle of the cupcake. Do you wanna watch how I do it? And then yeah, you know, okay. so you start, start in the, in the middle, middle, and then you work your way out. I've never done this. And then you pull. Or you can do it the other way. Oh my god, so okay. you start out. Okay. This is how you get more of a rose. And that's when you do, do. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Okay, I'm going to try it. Is that right? It's perfect. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to do how you did the middle mm -hmm. one. So you do this. This is the rose one, yeah. And this is the end result. Zara's just learned how to pipe. I made, I mean, honestly, the amount of cupcakes I've piped in my lifetime, considering I haven't done it in quite some time. That was yours, and yeah. let me pick my best one. So we did the rose on this one, so it's like a rose technique, and then this is Zara's. You know what, that's that's pretty good going. That's not bad at all. They don't look that different. No, yeah, they're pretty much the same. Well oh, done. I cannot wait. This one we ran out of ice and for, so we're gonna dig into this one. Right, right we're going in for the taste test. That's a good thing in a cupcake. <clears throat> There's just something joyous about a cupcake. I thought I'd give you guys just a quick little look at what the terrace looks like in the evening. I know you saw it quite a lot before, but I just think it looks so nice now that the trellis is full and all of the ivy is just hanging around. And the lights look so much nicer too. And the table, oh, I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Such a cheap can of paint, but it's done such a lovely job. Super, super happy. We've literally just been sat at the back, just having a glass of wine. It's been very lovely. I'm just gonna blow out the candle. Honestly, guys, this terrace, I know it's not much, and some people will think, are you really that happy with such a small space? But we absolutely love it. But now it's time for a glass of wine indoors, and we're having a delicious veggie little pizza we've got going on. So we're gonna watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith. This has got Brad Pitt and Angelina. Oh, it's got Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolene. Jolene, Jolene. Uh, it's really old. It came out in 2005, but it's just it's a good film. So we're gonna watch that. I need some pizza. Okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. We just literally sat in the living room, watched a bit of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, but it's God, it's 11 o'clock. I feel like the days are going so fast. Is anyone else having that where? The days just seem to fly by, but you don't really like doing an outstanding amount. I mean, we baked some cakes. <laughs> um, but if you have enjoyed this vlog, as always, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below and also tick the notification bell that lets you know when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.